that the more I research, the more finely pointed my um, sphere of knowledge gets, and actually making real developments and progress in different areas can be attained through working with the group. This is a great way to do that. To develop like a product, you need to have different sort of perspectives um, from different disciplines. My regular lab is an engineering and science lab and so I think I have seen firsthand um, the kind of the benefit that comes from the intersection of knowledge. There is a unique possibility to meet people from across the disciplines and try to um, build something innovative. The future is an unknown place and inventing the future puts students right in the driver's seat together as they would in the real world to invent what is actually their future. We aimed in this course to have the closest possible replica that a student could have of working in a high-tech startup to have that whole process compressed into a short period of time. So we've got two teams that are working on nanosatellites. The third team uh, is working in energy. Now, energy is extraordinarily important. We have a team that's working on health uh, in the area of melanoma detection. The Amending the Future program is unique because it brings four disciplines across the university together. Science provides the context and the research expertise in the areas of the briefs that the students are working on. Engineering provides the technical knowledge to great prototypes. Business ensures there's a valuable position and viable markets. And design provides a framework to develop an understanding of the needs of real users and how to translate those into solutions. You know how we were saying that we'd have a very small, quick pitch that we'd pitch to businessmen and they don't have much time? Yeah. We'll look at, yeah, past, present, future. In a service blueprint, it won't look as pretty as this. Yeah. But but my role is to provide a business framework over the whole thing, making sure it's sustainable when it goes into the market, when it goes into the hands of a user. Do they want it? How much will people pay for it? Ensuring that people will use it moving forward five, ten years into the future. The, the different cross-disciplines creates a um, dynamic in the group that can be quite challenging at some times, but also gives you the opportunity to get a viewpoint that you wouldn't particularly normally think of, and that helps sort of foster new ideas and, and think about things in a different way that you wouldn't be able to think through yourself. And trying to solve a complex problem in a unique way has been uh, definitely taking me out of my comfort zone, made me think in ways I've never thought of before. I think the university should provide more courses like this. Since like if you only work with um, um, like some people in your area, you can pretty much you can only share the same skills and you you couldn't learn something new, you know. Yeah, so the work that I've done in this project absolutely has given me knowledge and insight into how I do my work. Right now at a startup, I'm working with a bunch of different sales team as well as a bunch of product developers as well. And this course has allowed me to help communicate with those people as well as find out how to drive towards a particular outcome or a particular product in a very short amount of time. When you're trying to deal with a real world problem, like something bigger, that requires collaboration through different disciplines, um, it's a different set of skills completely. Sydney University can also be an agile, dynamic um, organisation that's prepared to try new ideas and is prepared to be radical. So the exciting part, I think, about the program is it doesn't just create students who are future ready to be able to go into the workforce, but they're actually given the skills and experiences to invent that future.